Jerry, we saw ambulances in some of those pictures. We just heard from that passenger who says people were put on stretchers. Is Disney saying anything about people needing medical attention last night? You know, it is the question, Eric, we've been asking all day. In fact, today, Disney told me in the past hour, they actually have been, they have a team working to actually find out what caused that malfunction here at Disney last night. This all happening as we've been emailing and calling Reedy Creek uh, firefighters all day today, working to find out more about transports and rescues. It would be scary. It would be. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't like it. Tonight, as Disney goers are reacting to Saturday's terrifying experience, passengers say it was a scare in the sky. It was a little terrifying knowing that we were just dangling in the air. Jennifer Mendoza and her eight-year-old daughter Alex were among those stuck for more than three hours when a few of these Disney Skyliner cable cars called gondolas got stuck. Oh, that was scary. It's a new transport system. It opened last week aimed at carrying visitors from hotels to theme parks about three stories above the ground. This picture here shows what appears to be at least two Disney cars stuck together. It would have been nice to have known, you know, a little more information about what was going on. Tonight, no word if and how many passengers had to be rescued or transported. Right now, we know Orange County Fire responded after being called in to assist by Reddy Creek firefighters. But Orange County Fire told us they did not rescue or evacuate anyone. Right now, as Disney works to find out how it all happened, in the last hour or so, Disney told me they're looking into what caused last night's malfunction and said in part, quote, We have been in contact with the guests, many of whom were on the Skyliner for more than three hours until we were able to restart the system. We express our sincere apologies for the inconvenience, end quote. You may recall back in 2009, federal workplace safety investigators fined Walt Disney World after a monorail accident when a 21-year-old employee was killed. I've been calling and reaching out today to OSHA, the NTSB, and the Department of Agriculture, working to see if they're investigating yesterday's incident here at Disney. Wouldn't want to see it happen again, not to anybody. And tonight, one passenger told me she was given gift cards and Disney passes for her inconvenience. Disney tonight telling us they've been working with each guest individually to make, they, make sure they're accommodated. For now, we're live outside Disney. I'm Jerry Askin getting results. News 6.